he does talk like really arrogant shit. And he is a little bit like that in person, you know, ever since amateurs just just walking around like, you know, his shit don't stink and it pissed me off. Like I was in Vegas one day talking to his friend Keyshawn. We were having a great time, great conversation. I simply said, hey, yo, Shakur, come over, blah, blah, blah. He goes, just looks at me and goes, nah, you gotta come over here. Like some arrogant shit. And I'm like, bro, what is that? We're all just trying to, you know, figure it out. You know, it's just like, you don't gotta act like that, bro. Honestly, he didn't fight good at all. He was scared. He didn't fight. He, 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 and the, it's so biased. That commentary is disgusting. But if Shakur don't throw a lot of punches, he's controlling the fight. If somebody else don't throw a lot of punches, it's, oh man, he's reluctant. Oh, he's hesitant. It, it's just so biased. Like, I can't even watch ESPN fights no more. I, I really can't. It, it's so disgusting. He's a runner, he's a track star. He gonna run away if he is hard. He can't take the pain, he can just talk. Can't hurt anyone cause his hands are. Do not wanna hear for talk on Twitter. He don't do the race just like this one. I didn't even pay him when I refund. I probably should have boxed a little bit more, but I didn't want to be boring, so. I kind of picked up the pace and stepped to him, so. But I could have, um, I could have did more. Um, it's always more to do. Shit, we right back in the gym. Ain't nothing else to talk about. Get stronger, get better. And when it's time, it's time, so. I hope everybody that's talking and got so much to say. They gonna do this and they this and Shakur not this. Just stand on what y'all saying. Cause y'all know when it come time, I'm gonna be ready. Ryan just be talking though. Don't worry about him. Nobody pay him no mind. I mean, shit. At the end of the day, he got a million, a bunch of Instagram followers. But he can't fight, so. The real talent always prevail. Real talent always prevail in whatever you do. If you're a rapper, you're gonna prevail just cause you better than, you feel me? If you're a good rapper, you're gonna be better than certain rappers that just getting by. to 130, did what I was supposed to do there, now we at 135, it's going to be the same thing, ain't nothing going to change. There, I mean, I haven't, I, I don't comment on a lot of fights, but I'm not going to lie guys, that fight with Shakur really, it kind of got me a little, little pissed off, and not because Shakur won or anything, it's great, he was supposed to win, but it's the fact that he got away with the, the most low blows I've ever seen somebody get away with and he does it a lot and nothing against Shakur but you just can't throw that many low blows without realizing you're throwing low blows and to me you know that ref just missed everything it was it was very it was just it's a horrible display of fouls that you're just like what what is going on here but again nothing against Shakur but man you gotta you gotta keep your punches up I counted like a hundred of them Three fighters. Mm. I don't know. I don't know my top three fighters. No, Shakur does not wash me. Stop it. Stop it. He does not. He can't even wash that other guy that he fought. But you should have got him out of there. He definitely can't wash me. Or whatever you were trying to say. He's not knocking nobody out. Yeah. The worst thing he could do is jab you to death, I guess. I don't want to talk about wash. I don't know if that meant knocked out, but stop lying to yourself. <laughs> 